In this example, you and I will play the role of a technical writer and create a change request for the initiation of a document's revision. The terms change control and change request are synonymous. From the doc control main menu, we simply click on create document change control. We'll discuss looking up a document change control a little later. The interface loads and we can begin creating our document change request. In section one, we capture basic information about the rationale of our change request. In this example, we are initiating the revision of a fictional SOP on operation of a vol washer because we need to add two new images. So we select the revision as a change rationale and insert the document's number, title, and current version. Finally, we select the reason of why we want to revise this SOP. Section 2. We now need to capture if there are any other documents that are going to be affected by us revising SOP 12345. Section 2 of this software allows us to do just that. Let's assume that based on the revision of SOP 12345 that there are two other related documents that will be affected. We click yes to the question regarding related documents. As a safety prompt, the software asks us if we have performed an impact search to be aware of all possible related documents. We will select yes and select the number of documents that are related. At this point, we can now enter more detail about the two documents that are related by clicking the click here to enter document linkages button. At this point, a separate interface will load that allows us to capture this detail. Let's assume that there are two forms that need to be revised since we are revising SOP 12345, and then we will click Done. Section 3. This section asks us if the proposed change to SOP 12345 is a minor or specific change. Minor or specific changes to documents are those that are added or deleting content that do not affect the overall meaning of the document. In our case, we are simply adding two new images. This is a minor change, so we will select yes and insert detail further explaining our specific change. Section 4. This final section is in regard to document training. As technical writers, we know that every time a new document is rolled out or an existing document is revised, that it is evaluated to determine if training plans are to be updated and if employee testing is to occur to ensure that employees are competent on the new document. Section 4 allows us to do this electronically. Let's assume that SOP 12345 is evaluated for training by the training manager, Mr. Bob Smith. Mr. Bob Smith uses his professional judgment and determines that the revised SOP 12345 has a criticality rating of 1 and doesn't require employee retesting because there would be low impact to our processes if someone doesn't read the new version of the SOP. After all, we're just adding two new images. After the four sections are completed, the system forces us to check our entries for errors or omissions. We see that all is okay, and we can now continue to view our document change request.
Prior to the document change request being generated, we were asked to provide a publishing date for the revised SOP 12345. We do so and then close the pop-up. Our document change request is assigned a unique sequential report number. At any time, we can easily view our document change control as an MS Word document. From the main menu, we click on Look up a document change control. We left click on our report number and then click Open this file. 